if you are dealing with a broken heart right now and you are carrying all the guilt and you're blaming yourself for everything that you have lost, this video is for you. Okay, so let's begin by defining what I call the worst heartbreak. And this is only in my opinion and in my own experience. The worst heartbreak is that one in which um, you can't stop blaming yourself. You cannot stop beating yourself up. You can't stop your mind from telling you, you could have done that, you could have said that, you could have choose differently. Um, I remember having some of my friends sending me some quotes and some videos and telling me things, you know, you're going to find someone better and he doesn't deserve you and so on. And I was actually the one saying, but I was the one who ruined everything. I was the one who didn't, th I was the one who didn't do things properly. I, I was the one messing things up and particularly reading some quotes, you know, when someone doesn't uh, do this or that. And I was, you know, all those quotes trying to uh, give you some comfort. I was actually thinking to myself, I was the one not doing all those things. Uh, by reading those quotes that were supposed to give me some comfort, uh, they were actually kind of putting that right there on my face. Okay, so those are all the things that I did wrong, actually. Um, it was very, very hard for me because at that moment, um, I'm not sure if this is your case right now, uh, you are the one thinking that you lost the love of your life, that you were the one losing the right person, you were the one losing the one. And after working a lot on myself and in this process of healing, because as you already know, if you have watched my videos, I do not believe in time. I do believe with what you do with the time, what um, the work you do over a period of time in order to properly heal and not only to forget about what happened. So um, in working with myself, I learned a couple of things and I am hoping that me sharing with you at least this um, couple of things um, will help you too in this process. So the first thing I learned is that even though I did a lot of things that were wrong, um, I finally got to understand that I was never my intention to do, the, to do those things wrong. I was always hoping to do my best. I was trying to be the best I could be. And at that moment, I just couldn't do any better. I am fully sure that at that moment, I, I was doing what I thought it was the right thing to do. And even though those things weren't the best, I know that I was trying to be the best I could be. And now I know, now I finally got to see, I, I finally got to see or have that moment of consciousness in which now by knowing that I did all those things that were, weren't actually helping the relationship, now um, I have the massive and great opportunity to learn from those things and work towards never repeat them again. So that's the first. Um, the second is that uh, you aren't the only one in that relationship. Um, you are not able to break a relationship only by yourself. A uh, relationship, um, involves two people and the other person is there too. So if you were unable to communicate, if you were unable to fix the problems, um, maybe that means that that wasn't actually the right relationship for any of you. And something that might not, might not sound very beautiful, but it's true, is that the most beautiful thing that someone who doesn't love you anymore can do for you is leaving you. Mm. 
and that is not easy to say neither easy to experience and let me tell you if you are struggling right now i feel for you i've been there and there is nothing that you feel that can mend your heart right now but and well of course this doesn't sound right i didn't want him to leave um but over time you get to see that you also don't want a relationship in which you are struggling all the time. Afterwards, not right now, you are going to be able to be grateful for that. And another thing that I want to share with you is that you are the only one who can heal yourself. You are the only one who are capable of putting your heart back together and you are the only one who can turn things around and let the worst moment of your life become the place of your greatest victory, your greatest transformation, um, allowing yourself to fix all the things that you feel or think that you didn't do right, uh, work towards, never repeat them again, and to finally be able to find another person, another relationship in which you can share this new version, this new um, improved version of yourself. Do not beat yourself up. Find that place of consciousness. Find that love within yourself for yourself and be sure that eventually you will heal. I send you lots of love a massive hug because I know what it's like to feel this way. Lots of love, lots of peace and as always eventually I know that you will have happiness again. Thank you very much for watching.